Do you know that Holy Quran is the complete guidance for all human mankind? It is crucial to not only read but truly understand the Quran to enjoy a great experience in this world and the hereafter. Are you ready to start learning Quranic Arabic language? Let's start inshallah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim One humble request before we start Al Quran Institute is a Quranic dawa and educational institute we would like to reach many others like you so your assistance will be greatly appreciated if you benefit from our videos please like share and subscribe our YouTube channel Jazakallahu khairan Today we shall learn how to identify an ism or Arabic noun by looking at it. Let's for a short period in the beginning, many students struggle to identify the ism, fail, and half in Arabic sentences and gets mixed up between them. As you know, sentences in Quran will have a noun, a verb, or a particle. So to understand the meaning, it's necessary to identify these three parts of speech. Let's just remind us first about ism or noun. Noun is the meaningful word that names a place, person, thing, or any quality, and there is no time period attached to noun. Here are some common signs to identify a noun. Number one, a word is an ism if it starts with Al. If the word starts with Al, then the last letter will never be Tanveen. Here are two examples. Ar-Rahmani, Ar-Rahimi. Number two. If there is a preposition or harfizar appears before the word, then it is a noun. For example, Mir Rabbihim. Min came before Rabbihim. So Rabbi is a noun. Next, Bismillahi. B is a harfizar or a preposition and ism is a noun. Number three, if there is a tanveen on the last letter, then this is a noun. For example, barqun, yawmun, ardun. Number four, if a word is the subject of a predicate nominative or doer of the verb, then this is a noun. For example, Ja'a Hamidun. Hamidun is the doer here. Hamid came. So Hamidun is the noun. Zaidun Alimun. Zaid is knowledgeable. Here Zaid is the subject. Alimun is the predicate. So Zaid is a noun. Number five. If there is any calling letter before the word, then this is a noun. For example, Ya Allahu. Ya Zaidu. Number six. If the last letter of the word has a ta marbuta or a feminine ta, then the word is a noun. For example, talhatu, daribatun. Number seven. If the word is a mudaf or possessed, then both the mudaf and mudafilaihi are nouns. For example, baitullahi, kitabuhu. Number eight. If there are two words side by side explaining the quality of the other, then both of them are nouns. For example, Zaidun Tawilun, Tol Zaid. So here, both of them are nouns. So from the above eight rules, inshallah, you will be able to distinguish a noun in a sentence. Alhamdulillah. One request before you go. Al Quran Institute is a Quranic Dawa and educational institute. We would like to reach others like you. So, if you benefited from this video, please share with others and most importantly, please subscribe our channel and like the videos. Don't forget to watch other video series on Quranic Arabic course. Barakallahu fikum. Rabbana takabbal minna innaka anta samiul alim. Amin ya Rabbal alamin. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك